Welcome back everybody, bringing you guys a new YouTube video today and I noticed my recent video on the, the edit thing um, which is edit on release and uh, seeing that it's doing, it's getting a lot of get a lot of views so uh, it's, it's a lot of views for me so uh, um, if you guys haven't seen my previous video I made a video about confirm edit on release, I made a video about that if you guys want to check it out in the previous video I'll put that in the description or you can just go to my channel and find it um, in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to level up pretty fast. And uh, uh, this uh, the season just came out to limit out for a couple days. And as you can see here, th they did this battle pass way different. So you can see here, uh, there's tier 1, tier 2, but these are levels. If you look at it, it's XP, it's XP bar. So when, instead of leveling up and getting battle stars and uh, keep leveling up, you get XP. And it goes with the level up system, and this ties together with the level up. So the battle pass and the level up system is together. And there's also metal punch cards. Punch card complete. Come back tomorrow for more XP and uh, XP missions. And you can do uh, you can do challenges, which I haven't done yet. I did complete those. But if you do these daily punch cards, they give you XP. So you get you get XP for Top 25, you get XP for uh, harvesting, and uh, you get XP for farming. Uh, you get like you get like top five, and you get XP for winning. And you get XP for opening chests. Pretty much everything. And I'm pretty sure after you complete the daily challenges, the daily punch card challenges, you can still get XP. But you need to survive and survive and get kills. And you also get XP for getting kills. So, and, and plus, if you do this in Team Rubble, it doubles that because you get way more kills. And uh, if you guys are like XP nerds and you guys want to level up quick as possible and you don't care what game mode you play, go to Team Rumble and you'll get double XP. Go to, do these challenges in Team Rumble and you, you double the XP. And if you win. So, uh, this season is a little bit different. And uh, I'm getting this wrong. I'm pretty sure the level bar at the bottom when you load in the game is the same as the Battle Pass level. Because every time I level up my uh, my level, I I level up my battle pass. Unless every time I level up that, I get more XP towards my battle pass, and I level up the battle pass. I don't know. It's really confusing. I don't know how this works, but um, I'm just I'm just like guessing. At the, I'm not guessing, but I watch other people's videos and I go by what they say. And uh, from my experience from playing since day one. So if you guys, uh, once you're loading the game, okay, I'm going to see if I have a challenge. I have to do this challenge. There we go, level 10, that's at the bottom. Because every time I level up this, I get a battle pass level. Up. But again, it shows up at the top, this is battle pass level up, so it's different. So I'm pretty sure. It's almost like Apex Legends where you get to level up your battle pass to level up. So you get the XP towards your battle pass level up. That's not what I was really liking, but it kinda it's kinda worth it because you have to get kills and grind toward my battle pass. And once challenges come out you get more XP. And the XP is a replacement of the battle stars. And you get like 14,000 14, XP. So that's almost like half the bar, I think. So, uh, if I'm guys wrong, just comment below. Do you guys think it's the easiest way to do this? Mostly just com keep completing your daily punch cards. Keep getting kills, eliminations, uh, keep farming. When you farm, you see that little blue circle. Keep hitting those, and that's part of the challenge. You get XP for surviving, and not XP for winning. So, you pretty much get rewarded by playing. Instead of still challenging level now. Which is pretty cool. So I might just play out this game out.
people! press build but it didn't work so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video <coughs> okay so you guys enjoyed this video um just a simple guide um complete challenges keep doing your your uh daily punch cards it's almost like daily challenges but with punch cards and uh you get a lot of xp from it so uh, just keep getting kills placement pretty sure you get you get points for placement because every time i get xp at the end of the game see uh 425 XP just for survival and 92 XP for the match, 30%, 545 XP total. So, uh, survival, and, uh, daily punch cards, uh, play with your friends with a uh, battle pass, get more XP, uh, do team rumble, more XP, try to make it far as you can through the battle pass, and stuff like that. So, keep being in eliminations, uh, even like, a lot of XP. So, uh, hope you guys really enjoy this YouTube video, like and subscribe. If you guys enjoy this video, Road to 200 subscribers, I'm excited if you're seeing this YouTube video, um, I might be live streaming right after, so keep my post, post notifications on at my YouTube channel, It's Buzzer, from well, Twitter, at It's Buzzer on Twitter, so sorry if I'm trying to like, I'm rushing this video because it's so hard to explain this level up system because it's, it's so confusing and uh, other people probably can explain more better than me, but uh, I just... If, they, if anything else changes, I'll make another video about it. If I know any more information, I'll make a part two of this. So uh, just make sure you just mostly the big thing is just level up this, get your punch card dailies done, and just play with your friends, get kills, uh, survive longer, uh, farm, get kills and stuff. So hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys.